Welcome back guys, my name is Coleman Burton. and today we're going to talk about the Russian Tier 10 fighter, the LA-15 or Lavushkin-15 if I'm right. Today we're going to talk about the plane, we're going to talk about my equipment, we're going to talk about the modules and all the kind of stuff that I use. And after all that boring stuff, I have an amazing video. Well, I had two, but I limited it down to one or else this video would just become really, really long or really, really boring. And that's not cool. So let's get into it and uh, see what this thing is all about. So the LA-15 is another Russian fighter. We all know the Yak-30 as we have here. This is also the Russian fighter. This is more the Defender fighter. And the LA-15 comes after the LA-160. It is reasonably quick, has an okay maneuverability, and the altitude performance is quite nice. But we're going to get into that in a minute. So, um, I got this one today, and I really, really enjoyed it. It was absolutely amazing. The first game we played was without 100% pilot. We got an ace. Second one... It's also an ace, so that is a spoiler, so you're going to see that later on. But let's go into what this actually has. So, if we look at the engine, it has 1,590 kilograms of foot-pound thrust, I think it is, or something like that. I'm not too sure still, but it's it's a very meaty engine. Believe me, it will shift this thing like no other. Then, if we look at the guns, this thing rocks 323 millimeters, and... Per gun, they have a damage of second per second of 170, a rate of fire of 480, and an effective firing range of 800 meters. These guns, if you have the Yak-30, you know them. These guns are amazing. Good velocity, good damage, good rate of fire, and, you know, 800 meters range is perfect. These things just do the damage. Uh, they are absolutely amazing. I love these guns on the Russians. They are just, oh, they're just so, so good. They're amazing. So if you look at the gun armament, if you hit everything, then your damage per second will be 510, which is not bad. Definitely not bad. Air speed wise, cruise speed, 500 kilometers an hour. You know, it's not too bad. Most of the time you're boosting anyways, because you have enough boost. Boost speed, 1019 kilometers an hour. So it kind of shows you how strong this boost is. You have a boost duration of 7 seconds. It's very uh, normal to have a 7 second boost on a fighter, so very nice. And a maximum die speed of 1000, and that's without boosting. So if you would put boost to it, yeah, it doesn't do really anything. you probably 19 kilometers more. Then, if we look at the maneuverability, the average time to turn 360 degrees is 9.5 seconds. I mean, that, it, that is definitely not bad. It is not Yak-30, because if you look at the Yak-30, it takes me 8 seconds flat to turn out, but it has all the equipment on it. As this one is not specialized yet, I don't have all the equipment, I can probably push this one down to, I think, about 9 seconds turn time. So you're a second slower than the Yak-30. But it's not bad, because um, what I love about this one is not the optimal speed and everything, is the altitude performance. This one has a maximum optimum altitude of 2000 and the Yak-30 has 1500 if I recall properly. So this one can fly a lot higher and still have the same maneuverability. When the Yak-30 gets about that high it loses the maneuverability and it becomes slower. So this one is really 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 nice. It still lacks in just keeping up with like the MiG-15 bis and all that kind of stuff but this one is definitely a slight bit faster than the Yak-30. I really, really thoroughly enjoy this plane. I had so much fun already, and I can't wait to put more games into it. If we go into service, at the moment I have an improved gyroscopic sight, which gives me 8% of accuracy for forward firing offensive armaments, minus 6 pilot resistance to injuries, and my bonus on this one is plus 5% chance of inflicting critical damage. Absolutely amazing. And then I have gone for the airframe slot is the improved lightweight wing frame, which gives me 6.5% roll maneuverability, 1.6% maneuverability in turns, minus 2.2 aircraft hit points, and minus 4.5 wing resistance to damage. And the bonus that I rolled onto it was plus 3 wing resistance to damage, which means the minus goes to 1.5. So not too bad, not too shabby. For the engine slot, I've gone for an improved high-speed gas turbine. And... This one, it, you don't see too often on my planes, but what it does is it gives you 3.5% acceleration with boost activated, plus 1.9% maximum speed with boost activated. Downside is minus 9% boost availability, so you'll have less boost because of it. And a bonus that we rolled on it is plus 1% acceleration with boost activated. I have this one for a sole reason. Is that I use engine cooling, improves the engine cooldown rate by five times for 10 seconds. Those two to together work really, really well. They make this plane just 
skyrocket up. You turn those two on, you climb all the way up to the ceiling where you need to be, and then go back down to GEA if you want to. <laughs> for consumables, I've gone for the first aid. If my pilot dies, my accuracy goes down, so I need it to come back in. Of course, emergency control systems, it repairs my wings, it repairs my tails. Very standard to go for. We talked about the engine cooling, and of course, I run universal ammunition, which has increased chance of causing fire and inflicting critical damage. I don't think you should run standard on this. I mean, if you're in tier 10 and you're thinking about how can I save credits, you're doing something wrong. Um, tier 10s make credits anyways, so always run universal ammo. And definitely a tier 10s, because there's a lot of guns at tier 10 that do a lot of damage. <laughs> so you want to be as short as possible behind someone to take him out and continue to your next target. Jumping right directly into the pilot, I stole this from my LA-160. It has Marksman 1 and Marksman 2. Marksman 1 gives me 5% dispersion reduction, and Marksman 2 reduces dispersion of forward firing weapons by 5% and increases the accuracy of firing at actively maneuvering targets by 10. So in total, if they're maneuvering properly, we have about 20% extra accuracy. Accuracy is the most important thing for me in this game, so I definitely went for that one. Then I had a point left. I've gone for Firefighter, extinguish the fire by active maneuvering, gain and maintain a higher angle of velocity and any access to extinguish fire. I have been set on fire a few times now and I'm glad I have this skill because it takes me less than a second to turn and extinguish the fire. I take minimum damage. If you're unlucky you'll take some critical damage because of the second but that's probably just the same with a fire extinguisher. So overall very very strong tier 10. Absolutely amazing. I think I'm gonna play a lot more games in it. Even though it's less maneuverable than the Yak-30, I can feel like that I'm gonna really, really enjoy this plane because the speed and the altitude performance is amazing on this. So enough of the boring stuff in the hangar. Let's go to the video that I uh, promised you guys and I hope you guys enjoy that one. Well, LA-15 versus LA-15, but one is specialized and one isn't. Oh fucking shit. All right, we gotta prove ourselves here. Are we gonna win it from a... Uh Specialized LA-15? I say Show yes. Do, I say yes, indeed we will. Look at that speed, boys. Went a bit too fast there. So I'll switch to the other ADA. Do my damage on them. You know, some people, they fixate on one ADA. I'd rather just do loads of damage on all of them. And then, you know, you, you turn around and you'll see this, and you just go up, and then you can go to another one. But they're all in the middle, it seems like, so let's pray them from above a bit. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Plane. Wow, insane. Really, is it even better? That's insane, dude. All right, we got a GAA, Hansi. So we are probably going to do some damage on that GAA, because I need to. Whoa, look at the speed we're holding. 950 kilometers an hour. All right, I did some damage there. I'm going to go for the attacker first. Because he looked like an easy kill to me. That's Hansi again, so we're gonna go in and see if we can do some damage again on this guy. Oh, hello. That was my own attacker that went straight through me there. Always nice when that happens, when your own attacker just decides, Hello! You know, <laughs> you should not live anymore. Oh, shit, we got someone behind me. I know the LA-15 is there, but, you know, it, you're not gonna, I'm not gonna go there and get killed by the F-62 then, right? Would be a bit of a waste of my plane. We got two coming in on the rear. Got someone on my six and I'm not happy about it. Dang it! Right, we only need one more hit on her, and then it's over for her. Okay, someone took her out. Well, good enough for me. F-62 again. Holy moly, that's a lot of shells coming around me. Probably should calm it down a bit and get myself some repairs. 
But we don't have time to get repairs, so frick it. Frick it! Well, let's get a low for a minute. Sorry, everybody in that house! Everybody's deaf now because I have to burn right over it. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Everybody in that house is like, oh, shit! Just shaking the cups of the table and shit. I must be really loud with a, when a jet decides to just go straight over you. With full afterburner. Oh, he's going that way. I thought. I was like, where's he going? Never mind. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna venture out into the wild with him. And he killed that GAA right here. I'll bet you 100% that LA-15 is gonna say hello in a minute. Right, that's his wings gone. Woo! Take that, son! Oh, come on. You should not have that. I see you! Goodbye! Nice knowing you! Goodbye! Nice knowing you too! <laughs> My apology! Oh, ow! Ow, 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 I 211. Ha <laughs> ha! Nope. <laughs> that hurts. You're great, bud. Oh! Appreciate that. Oh, hello. Oh, hello! It seems like you just spawned, Mr. Hornet. My aim seems to be really, really off. Apparently my character has been drinking too much. Ivan, have you been drinking the vodka? No problem. <laughs> no problem. No vodka, no problem. There we go. Come on, Mr. German! Be friends with me. Let's die outside the circle because reasons. Right, good. So that person that was going after me actually decided not to go after me because I was out of range, I guess? I-211, don't want you to kill me, please. Oh, there we go. Who is this? F6U. You, 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 you. I should, I should be able to outturn both of them, so I could kill one and then just go for the other. Yeah, there we go. Look at that, Spitfire. We can use you. Mr. Spitfire! Could I please make myself happy with your body? Thank you, that just sounds odd. I meant shooting you, of course. <laughs> Thank you! Oh shit, oh shit, someone is angry. Who this? Who this? Okay, that's the 262. I don't need to worry about him. He's gonna leave me to it, probably. Who's this? Clarence in the attacker. Oh, Clarence! I haven't seen you in a while, sir. That's my favorite bot doing. Oh, F6U. Poor F6U. He has no clue what's going on. I'm getting shot at! Quickly kill it! Kill it before it moves! Hang in there. Woohoo! Sorry for everybody that lives here. We're just gonna have a few. We're gonna just have a kind of jet fight here, if you don't mind. <laughs> you crashed. <laughs> it worked. I'm happy. It worked. I made someone crash. Have you been drinking the fuel again, <laughs> Ivan? What are you doing? It's like, hmm, what? No, I've not been drinking. Oh, man, that was funny. That LA was like, yeah, no, nah, I'm just gonna hit this wall. That's it. There's no way to just because I can. Down. Okay, so on that's one road. down. All right, boys, let's shoot five down. Don't you dare to come up, thank you. One boy's afraid when an, when an I-211 or an I-215 look up. It's like, yeah, no, nah, I'm fine. He's just frying me. Hello. <laughs> Looks like I'm having a deja vu. Right, let's get this F62. Uh, that's a bit far off, uh, Scully. Now you can. There we go. Good F62. Sorry, F62. Ooh, attacker. Oh, it's Clarence. Hello, Clarence. How are we doing today, Clarence? Did you enjoy your flight? Because I did. 
Oh, ow! Son of a bitch! Ooh, we got another race, boys. Another race. Way to go. Victory is Somewhere in the clouds, there is a ghost. We must shoot it down so it doesn't move. Whoopsie day. Whoops. -a. We got the LA-15 trying to hunt down my friends. Let's go. You're not going to do this. Clarence had a very bad day. Oh, so will I if I go there. So will I if I go there. First of all, let's uh, go and protect my... Um... Don't you dare to come at me, bro. Let's take out these GAAs and see what we can do. Ah, we won. I didn't even get on here on time. Ah, good game though. We'll be waiting for you back home. Look at that! I'm gonna. Oh yeah, look at that! Conqueror, Marseille Medal, another ace. Uh, whatever that is. <laughs> Wink Legend. We got the highest uh, Great One Fighter. Hell yeah, good game. Clarence had a really bad game in that game. Fuck me. Poor Clarence. Poor Clarence. Alright. So let's have a look, boys. Now we have 100% pilot. We got 21,495 points. 231,000 credits. There we go. 7,000 XP. We got the Messiah medal. We got an ace. We got an ace there. Uh, we got an Akuma 2 medal. And a winged legend, which is awesome. We'll just discard that we just heard music quickly. Uh, damage was lower than the last game I did, 10,000, but we definitely did pretty good again. 620 capture points, 21 targets destroyed. Yeah, we did good. I, uh, that was amazing. We were flying first as another LA-15, which was uh, specialized. I'm non-specialized, and we won, so I'm quite happy with that. So, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye!